Hey guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you see everything on my desk, you will be noticing I'm going to do a page in this book all in Distress Ink. Tiny bit of detail maybe on the eye with the pencil. Okay, so everybody's asked about these a couple times and I keep forgetting to put it in the description box. These are the little tools I use. It comes in a package like this. It's from Ranger. Uh, Ranger and Tim Holtz work together as a collaboration between Tim Holtz products and that's what these are. <clears throat> they are called the Detail Blending Tools. So this is the word you look for if you want the ones with the sticks. These are mini blending tools because there's actually a bigger one than this. It's a square one that they used to have. So the um, sponge applicator here and I'm just going to flip that over, is the same as the one here. They're made out of the same material. They just cut it in small bits, thinned it down a little bit, and glued it on instead of put it on with Velcro. Same type of thing. You can use a Q-tip to do this kind of work that I do. You can use uh, makeup brushes, whatever you prefer. Um, these aren't the best made products, but I prefer the uh, sponge application part because it's like this. So I buy these. They're like five bucks. You get five. They're a dollar a piece. You could probably make your own, but you need to cut these up and glue them on and these are expensive. <laughs> so I have mine out that are in green and browns and stuff and I don't have one in red or blue that I know of that I can tell. So I'm going to just use some new ones. So we have a set of those. We have the mini dudes here with different sponges. I'm going to do this guy in um, blues and purples. We have our ink in Wild Honey Brush Corduroy Tea Dye uh, for the little guy here. Greens. Peeled Paint Forest Moss for the leaves. Uh, that's another brown, so that's walnut for the dude. Uh, we've got Aged Mahogany Victorian Velvet for our pink roses. And our sky is going to be a Chip Sapphire Prized Rism ri bleh, Ribbon <laughs> and Dusty Concord, which is our purple. So we'll move these out of the way. Now you'll notice on my page there is some difference in tonal value in the black background here. So if you take this bunch out and some of this up here, it's just a black uh, clouded and kind of glowy area here. And I took my eraser and made some marks down here to resemble a cloudy area. The eraser will pick up some of that black. It doesn't have to be electric. It can also be just, this is a, a white eraser. It's like a pink eraser, except it's not pink, it's white. <laughs> and it will pick up the color also. And you can like drag it down and bring down some of these colors or some areas that you would like. Since I'm inking, if I lighten the black, we will get a nice tonal range down here also. We're just going to lighten it up a little bit here and there. So you, whichever tool you decide to use, add in whatever kind of lines that you want to. The ink will pick up into those areas. So. We'll add a little something in here. Just pick it up. Bring some of that down. Bring some of that up. So it's just adding a little bit of uh, texture in here. Up in his ears, we're going to do the same type of thing. Bring some of that down. Bring 
just to get some of that color in there. And like I said, it's easy to do it with either one. This one will take a nice big shaded area out. So if you want to bring some of that color down in there. I like to use the soft erasers, but you can even bring in one of your sanding erasers and do the same type of thing. It's up to you. I did it up here in these areas. I don't want it to look perfect, but when the ink comes down into these areas, I want it to look a little, um, a little different than black. Okay, so when you get your little bits here that you want to get done, then you can start inking. So anything you want to be brighter up in here to do the same thing. All right. I'm going to get all those eraser chunks off just because you don't want to ink and have that stuck on the uh, foam. Pick it up and then you'll have that line drawn all over so you want to keep your foam clean. I find it easier to run my hand over it to make sure I got all of it than to trust my eyes. <laughs> you want to know what book we're using, by the way? We're Ticket to Dreams by Carolina Kubikowska. Okay. Can you see the whole little dude here? Well, don't mean to make you bounce. Sorry. Okay, we're going to go... In with the flower first. We're going to get that done. The two colors here. Grab one of these little sticks. It's a double-ended, so we'll go in with the aged mahogany on one and the pink on the other side. I can open these. Okay. Just want to tap it in until you get some coverage here. Use it like a pen. Kind of set it down where you want and then flick it out to the other area. May not even use the other color if I like how I get this done. Okay, down into the dark and just pull it up. You can go pretty dark because the ink will lighten as it dries. some flowers up here. Okay, we'll see how that does. Pretty sure I have a green one here. We're going to put in the leaves. I know I have another flower back there, but that probably is a flower. I just need another color. So this one here is the um, peeled paint. I'm just going to cover that whole, all of these leaves in that color. We're going to use the other ink to darken it. So 
Trying to run around and ink these guys up. It's a little easier for me to find leaves than it is to find petals, so <laughs> this will help me out a little bit. Oh, that's a lid. Okay. There we go. So everybody else is a flower piece. Then we're going to take in our forest moss. And, oh heck, I'll just get a new one. And we're going to darken up some of that leaf color. Just remember, it'll dry lighter. There we go. We'll go back in with the red and get these other flowery things. I don't exactly know what they are. Those look to be like rosy type things. All right, we're going to get some of that Victorian velvet here. everything lightly over that. That gives us our pink as our highlight. Then we're going to throw a little yellow in there in the center of those two because it has some. So we got the wild honey. They're the other ones that show a center. So if you blend that, it'll pull in a shadow on its own. Boom, boom. There we go. You can also throw a little of that in the leaves, so I'm going to do that. Give them a third color, a little more depth on them. Throw a little on the rosy too. I'll add a pretty color. Okay. Do do do. We will do our little guy here. Okay, Wolfie. Wolfie, coyote. It's not a fox. <laughs> it's something in the wolf line. So we're going to mix up these colors and see what we can get going here. 
We'll work with the brush corduroy first. Um, we have a brown here. No, oh, that's the pink. This is the brown. So we're going to add a little of this right in this area here. Comes down towards the nose. Out and around the eye. A little up here on the forehead. Up towards the ears. And back here. Go over the black because we're inking that area up and it will show. Okay, and this ear here. around in there and kind of in here. Now we have a, a little tiny bit of this ink left. I'm not going to go back in the pad. I'm just going to run it around until the ink is no longer on the pad here. That will give us a nice blend, but it will also give us kind of a soft um, kind of a white area there. I don't have a uh, cream color ink, so I'm just fudging it there. I'm going to stick it down in here. I'm going to put more ink on there for this area where it's nice and dark. Make sure our brown shows up in those areas that we lightened. And then just bring it down into this area. Darken it there. All right. So that was the brushed corduroy. We're going to go in for some tea dye. Do, 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 do. We're going to put that around his eye here. In his eye. And then just down in these areas. Walnut stain, darkest one. Where it's the darkest, like in the blacker areas or blackish. Just going to use it, put it in there, and pull it up. And just blending it in there.
and let him dry. Get the rest of the ink off of here. We're going to get the blue and purple. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. These two go really good together. These are going to be done with the um, big guys here. Cover more of the background. We're going to start off with the chip sapphire. I always ink one half of that. We're going to tap some of that off. I need a little piece of paper. just so we don't have a big blob. And we're going to go up in here. Should probably have a piece of paper back behind there too, so one more piece of paper coming out. <laughs> Darken this up. Bring some of that blue down in there. some of that blue close to our little pup's nozzle here, up here by the ear. We'll go down in this area too. Even if you don't um, erase or anything and you just put this ink on top of the black, you're going to see the color. here. Just gives a nice little hue. And we'll stick a little on this side. Then we'll go in with the purple. And remember the ink will dry lighter. Purple one. is the Dusty Concord. Ink it up and just go where the um, blue didn't. <laughs> If you want, you can always put this on a smaller tool to get into those little areas. Blend that right into the blue. Right up here is the only place we haven't gotten, and it's right between the ears. So 
So let's see what I got here. Oh, we got Karen throwing the stick around. Okay. Just going to go in and put some purple in there too. Some areas nice and dark. Okay. We're going to move off all this ink stuff and then I'm going to bring in some pencil. Okay, we got some Derwent drawing pencils. This one is called Ruby Earth, and we're going to kind of go in here and touch up our flowers a bit. So how are you all doing? Hope you're having a wonderful October. Can't believe it's October already. I don't know where September went. <laughs> those out a little bit. So let's see, we have a green in here. Boom, olive earth. Kind of meld those colors together a little better. get what is this wheat wheat will make a nice addition here to our guys fur just add that in here Some fluff to his ears.
this bit's going to be his forehead here, so we add a little of that in there. Eyes here. And then down his little snout here. And add in some browns. You here. Chocolate. So I just took out chocolate, warm earth, and uh, sepia with red in it. So we'll go with the chocolate first. Darken up those areas a little bit more. Okay, then we're going to bring in the um, warm earth.
in with the um, chocolate again. Then we're gonna bring in a kind of a yellowy color for his eyes. Cause I don't well we do have a orange. Mars orange. That's a good one. And we'll bring in a black. Hopefully we'll bring in a black <laughs> for his eye here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to cover it. So let's get out. Red flag. And then a slight yellow at the bottom of that. Need a point. Really could use a point. <laughs> Make sure that's dry first. And add a little yellow down there. This is a yellow ochre. A little bit more of that orange. Where did that go? Literally, it was right here. <laughs> Where did it go? Hello. You're not orange. Yellow, sepia, chocolate, warm earth. Nothing on that side. Red and green. Okay, guys, where did it go? I put it back? <laughs> I guess I put it back. Okay, we're going to put a little bit more of that in there. Just because I want to see a little bit more of it. There we go. Leave it out. And there's a reason I have to leave it out. <laughs> Do we have black in this? No. Drawing pencils don't have a black. Yes, they do. There it is. And a white. I'm sharpen that up just a little bit. Okay, we're going to touch around this eye a little bit. tip off while I mess around with the nose. There we go. And his lip here. Let's 
got to be nice and dark on the inside his ears. This one doesn't really have an inside because it's showing the back of it. And throw a little black in here. in here. over here a little bit. We're going to add some extra hair coming out of here. Right onto that purple. Fluff them up a bit. Add in his whiskers. We'll just pull them down. some white here so we're going to add that in. I really want a sharp point on that one. You don't need to put too much pressure on these pencils. They touch the paper and leave their pigment down really nicely. Put too much pressure on there you're going to break it like I already did. I'm just going to soften it up here by the eye. to add a few extra lines down here and then we'll go over them again with the darker colors. The chocolate.
I'm going to add a little black down in here. And darken these areas. Just a little bit. And cover up the color book black ink. And do the same thing on the leaves. take a little bit hmm we could do that with the black I think just add some extra little color to some of these dots down here and then pull some down into here just to blend those in. A little bit with these. So I'll be playing with that for a while. <laughs> it's just making little circles. Just to blend that into these two areas. 
If you did not uh, use the eraser to do any of this work, you don't have to do this part. But I did, and I think it looks kind of cool, so I'm going to finish it. Probably off camera, because it's going to take forever. And I have to rest my hand in between doing this, so I will do that continuously down here. And probably up in this area, too. Just so it all is cohesive and looks like it was supposed to be there. So yeah, I'll be doing that. <laughs> you can also throw a little white in there if you want to lighten up a little area. And then go back over it with the black. And give it a bit more in definition and then if you had purple boom tap a little purple on it so it's not bright white it'll look purple anyway I'm gonna be doing that and I will give you a picture at the end of the video so you can see what it'll look like <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in another video. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.